Hey guys, I'm Malaya here at IT Supplies, and today I'm really excited to show you three new mass platens that Lawson Screen and Digital Products has come out with. Now, before we do this, we are going to explain each one of them, and then you're going to be able to go and check out each video on each one. But I do need to show you from start to finish how to set up your machine in order to be successful. So just to explain a few of them, the first mask we have is the universal mask platen. It's a three by three. And this is specifically to be able to do spot printing. So whether it's a logo, a monogram, whatever the case may be, you'll be able to print on youth and adult uh, face masks on this specific platen. Now, the next one we have is called the flat mask platen. So any mask that is flat, uh, more of like a cotton mask you can use or even a stretchy one. But this mask is a 5.5 by 3.5 platen. And I would only suggest using adult mask on this specific platen. Last but not least, we have the form fit platen. Now this platen is more specific for if you have a seam down the middle or if it has any type of an elastic around it. What you really want to think about is more of a stretchy mask where you want to print on the entire thing just like you would want to do on the flat mask platen. So these are the three platens that, Eps that Lawson has now come out with that will work great with your Epson SureColor F2100. Some of the things that you're going to need is a Phillips screwdriver, and you need some sort of way to be able to pre-treat our dark color masks. So I have a little four inch paint roller here. When you get the, fat, the face mask flattened, you will get instructions to do exactly what I'm about to do, but I'm gonna walk you through it as well so that way it's a seamless process for us. So let's check out the platen. So I've already removed my platen and next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna twist the handle here to unlock it. Next, I have to take my Phillips screwdriver and there is a screw located right here where my finger is that I'm going to unscrew really fast. So give me a second, lefty loosey, righty tidy, my friends. And we'll have this out fairly soon. All right, don't lose it, put it somewhere safe. I'm gonna put it back here for right now. Next, what I'm gonna do is take the platen off, the platelet here, and we're gonna hold this and take our two spacers off. Put your spacers to the side, let them sit nicely. I'm gonna put this back here. Next, we're gonna put the plate back on as well. Make sure it's secure and down. And then I'm gonna put my screw back in. And this time we're gonna do a righty tighty. Okay. Now that's secure on there. I can lock this back into place. And now you're ready to put whichever mask platen on here that you are looking to use. So now we're gonna go over to the screen to set up our mask platen. All right, so we're here at Garment Creator and I have imported my image. It is close to Halloween coming, so I thought it'd be really fun to do a happy Halloween mask, just to kind of give you an idea of some different um, varieties. Now, because this mask does have some black in it and it's true black, what I did was I did use Garment Black. This is gonna knock out the black and uh, just use your black face mask as your background for black. So if you know that this is not a true black, it's not going to knock out the black, just so you know. And not every image looks great with a used garment black. So you may have to use a dark colored um, standard. Just keep that in mind. Um, again, I love to be on level four because it's not middle of the road, but it's not the highest quality ever just to kind of give you an idea. And this is a free download that I got online. So this is an online image. This is not anything that I've designed just to kind of show you what the printer can do. 
when you are going to set this up so that it can match with your math platen, I am using the 14 by 16 platen, which is the medium Epson platen that comes with your Epson Sure Color F2100. Now, the way that I placed it was I went to negative 2.45 so that I can be spot on to the actual platen. And then this platen uh, is a 5.5 by a 3.3. Now, my image is only a 5.5 by 3.9, 3.09. So mine is gonna be in the center. It's not gonna cover the entire mask uh, because I don't want it printing outside of it. But when you do design, you can design it to be a 5.5 by 3.3. .3, so that way it covers the entire mask for you. Um, I didn't do any type of color replacement here because it wasn't necessary and I didn't want to play with any colors. But this is where you want to be if you wanted to match up perfectly with your mask platen. Now we're going to press print and we're going to head over to the actual printer. So using my Epson flat mask platen, I am going to put this on and we're going to start printing. Open side is here, as you can see, so it's easy for you to load. You do have to be right on top of this. And because I'm a little short, I might have to jiggle it a little bit, but make sure it's completely down there. I've already pre-treated my face mask. I've heat set it and now I'm ready to print on it. So remember, this is a 5.5 by 3.5. Okay, so we're going to go print. All right, now I'm ready to heat set. But just so you can see a little preview of what we're working with. So I'm gonna use a silicone parchment sheet. I am going to heat set at 335 degrees for 60 seconds. You wanna be sure that you're using medium to light pressure. You don't wanna use anything too heavy or it's going to take away the color. Let it cool for a little bit, and then you're ready. Thanks so much for watching our videos. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about anything inside of our videos, please call in and ask for a commercial sales specialist at 800-771-9665. We're waiting for you.